What's good everybody, it's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend, had to take me a little break off. I got a bunch of stuff in the background I'm doing, got some secret projects coming up, and I just need some time to myself, of course. Hopefully you guys did as well, so you know, we're back on the grind, so let's get into it. So today, I want to talk about a free plugin I think everybody needs to use, or a type of plugin that everybody needs to use. But the good thing about it is both these plugins I'm going to be showing you guys is absolutely free. So you don't have to worry about paying anything. It's going to be great. And it's going to be very good for both vocalists, uh, mix engineers, producers. It's going to be a great plugin to use to get perfect game staging every time. I promise you. And I'm going to talk about how to do that and how to use it properly. That way that you can get the best game staging out there and not struggle with game staging. Because that is a big issue with a lot of people. Especially with recording artists, game staging can save you a lot of headache. Especially when you send your mixes off to get mixed by other people. Because like I said, I get a bunch of mixes from artists. And the game station is always trash so hopefully this video will help them guys out it loves also by helping you out as well but if you can man you know youtube is being crazy right now y'all know how it is all this crazy stuff going on your boy trying to hit 100k i could really use your help by doing that if you could subscribe today that would be very helpful i mean 80 percent of you guys are watching my videos and ain't subscribed yet and you're getting all this great information i'm doing this you know as a hobby for free for you guys so okay if you want to support your boy Hit the like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification. That'd be big help. So let's go ahead and jump inside both DAW. I'm gonna show you both in Studio One and FL Studio. So don't worry, I ain't leaving nobody out. Everybody's getting help today. So let's jump right inside them and do it. So here we are inside of Studio One. Like I said, first I'm gonna show you how to do it in Studio One because it's a little bit quicker in Studio One. And then I'm gonna go to FL Studio. But like I said, both these plugins are absolutely free and they both work for both Studio One and FL Studio. So don't worry, it don't matter which one you get, it's all up to you. So the plugin we're gonna be using is called a VU meter. Now what is a VU meter? Well, a VU meter is a old way of uh, monitoring or measuring sound or I think electricity or whatever. Um, through analog gear. That's what they used to use back in the day. It's how they used to gain stage and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's the meter you see, the little needle going back and forth. That's what it is. I'm not going to get too technical in this video, so if you want to do that, you can look it up yourself. It ain't here. Your boy don't do that no more. We don't get technical. But a VU meter is very helpful when it comes to setting gain staging. We're going to be using the old way of gain staging inside of our DAW, you know, now and then. You're probably thinking, why would we do that? Well, I'm going to show you. So, for example, here is a beat I got right now. It's a beat that's going to be for an upcoming video. I'm going to show you guys how to do a specific vocal effect. Now, if we go ahead and play the song. Now, I have good game station already because this beat isn't mastered. But most of the time when you get beats in there, you know, you might bring a beat that's already been mastered from YouTube and it's hitting like this. And it's clipping all over the place. So, you know, you got to bring it down and you want to set your game stage. Or you're setting up your microphone and you'll make sure your microphone levels are set the exact, the appropriate level to where they're not too quiet, but not too loud. By using a VU meter, you can easily do that. So, let me go ahead and bring up my VU meter that I use of choice. Now, I'm using the Personas VU meter. It's an absolutely free VU meter. If you have a Persona Studio One account or if you own Studio One, you can download this absolutely free. Even if you don't use Studio One, you can go to their uh, website, sign up for an account, and actually download this with their plugin hub thingy. And you can actually use a couple of their plugins in other DAW. So, you know, you can do that. But don't worry, I got a free one for you guys. If you don't want to go through with that, I'll show you that inside of FL Studio. So, how do VU meter work? Basically, it shows you different scales of, you can set your, um, your calendar calibration technically so what you want zero to be now zero in the digital realm is zero meaning anything past zero it's clipping it's done it's gone so that would be like sitting like this so that means when i said the zero zero is the same zero as this which means you know So it's pretty much copying the exact same as the DB full scale, blah, 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 videos out there about that. Now here, so, but what we wanna do is we wanna set our reference scaling to something lower. That way we can set our gain stage into that. That way it gives us enough headroom to, you know, mix and master and add effects and all that good stuff so for me personally um i like to use the 12 db scale now you can also use 18 6 and whatever and another the other plugin you can actually use a bunch of them is like in between which is really cool so you might want to get that one if you know you want to be more specific but the reason we use these different scales is it's pretty much saying this is what zero is so basically it's like saying that now negative 12 db is now zero db so now anything past negative 12 db is clipping and like i said you bring it down to adjust that and that's a great way to set 
set your gain stage for both your vocals, your beats, your individual sounds, all that. Now, negative 18 is the traditional um, way of doing it in the analog realm. I feel like that's too quiet nowadays, especially with modern music. So 12 is good. You can do negative 16, or negative 16, but negative six, but you know, you have a little bit less headroom. Negative 12 for me is just good enough. So I said the negative 12 on the scale, as you can see. Now, when I press play, uh, it, like now negative 12 will be zero. So let's see if my beat's clipping now. So yeah, now my beat's clipping. So now I wanna bring it down to where it's under the zero. And even if you have a little bit over that, that's still good. Cause I said, since we're so close to negative 12, we got so much headroom. So now if I bring it back to zero, you'll see I'm nowhere near clipping. And now the same goes for vocals. So let me go ahead and, you know, bring up a vocal track real quick. I'm gonna set my microphone, so give me one second. All right, so now you see I got it set up right now. You can hear me right now through my microphone right here. So now I can set it to, you know, the proper level. So now I got it set to negative 12. So I'm gonna go, yo, 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 check, 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 check. Mic check, 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 check. Okay, I'll distort a little bit. Check, 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 check. Yo, 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 yo. Check, check, check. Now you see I set my game staging, I'm using the negative 12. Now when I record some, so I'm gonna record some real quick, you know, just kind of show you how much headroom I have when I'm recording. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, back in the game, back in my zone. They hating on me, they leave me alone. Really I can't sit on this throne. Gotta go get it, I know I'm the best. Boom, you know, it's a little thing right there. But as you can see, I have so much headroom right there with my vocals. So, you know, I'm nowhere near clipping. That's enough headroom, play it back. Yeah, back in the game, back in my zone. They hating on me, they leave me alone. Really, I can't sit on this throne. It sounds good, it sounds great. I can also make it louder if I need to. And you know, I'm nowhere near clipping. Yeah, back in the game, back in my zone. They hating on me, they leave me alone. Really, I can't sit on this throne. Gotta go get it, I know I'm the best. You know, super dope, super easy. So let me go ahead and jump inside of FL Studio and show you guys how to set this exact same process up inside of FL Studio. That way, you know, I'm not leaving you guys out as well. So let me go do that right now and switch over. Okay, so here we are inside of FL Studio right now, and I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up in here. So I'm using a free plugin called MV Meter. It's a free metering plugin that I found. I'll make sure I leave a link down in the description below. Uh, it's by TB Pro Audio called MVM2 or MV Meter. Um, and I say it's the same thing. So right here, as you see, you got reference level. I can just set it to, like, say, negative. 12 same as that and you can also change your skins on this which they got some pretty dope skins and it's basically the same thing so now i'm gonna go ahead and turn on my microphone so make sure everything's good and then boom yeah check 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 now my microphone is coming through as you see the mv meter is working as well and i can yo 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 check 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 yo check check your boy slim aka mr different back on the mic once again show you guys that these VU meters are super dope. So yeah, as you can see, you know, link them and all that. Just can unlink them, link them, change just like that. But yeah, as you can see, VU meters are really dope and really easy to use. So yeah, there you go. You know what I mean? So say so if you can see two different ones, and like I say you can also use the personas one here as well. But you know, I gave you two options to see which ones you want to get. So yeah, there you go. Easy as that. So you can do the same thing in FS2. Just make sure that it's your first plugin in your uh plugin stack. That's what I should have said at the beginning. So yeah, there you go right there showing you guys how to get some great game staging using two free plugins. Like I said, VU Muse are very powerful, very strong plugins, and I recommend everybody use, like I said, just make sure it's your first plugin when you're actually doing this. That will just help you properly set your game. Like I said, you don't have to use it for just vocals. You can use it for beats, you can use it for individual sounds, you can use it for a whole mix. It is very good to use. Like I say I definitely say research and do some little just a little search on the difference between VU meters and you know modern meters and all that, just so you get a better understanding of that. Cause like I said, I'm not going too deep in that myself. Let you guys do some research on your own. Can't give you all the answers out there. You got to do the searching for yourself if you want to make your knowledge and get smarter yourself. Hey, I can't help you with that. So with that being said, I hope you guys are like always. Y'all know who it is. Your boy Slant, a.k.a. Mr. Different. Not motivated by the money, but the like, comments, subscribe, and views. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy like always. And guess what? Leave a thumb up if you like the video. Leave a comment down below. Also, subscribe to the channel. Join the family. Join the community. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody. 
Yeet.